Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and this is kind of a strange time for a, uh, a video, but um, I happen to have been looking at um, some pick sixes for today at the various racetracks, and I came across a couple of really, really strong values that I just figured I would share with you guys, and uh, forgive me for doing it this way, but I'm just kind of testing the, uh, the video watches and how it goes up to the site and things like that. I'm not going to post this in the Discord or anything like that. Um, but after the fact, I mean, I'll post to see if anybody was able to see it. Um, they are some, uh, it, listen, they're, they're good enough values that it's worth me making a special video uh, for it. Um, and I don't want to just, you know, tweet it. I don't want to put it in the Discord or whatever it is. But if this does get posted to the site, if you guys are subscribers to the channel, you will, um, you will catch this, right? And, um, they're, they're long shots. They probably won't win, but they're extremely good values. Enough for me to come on here and do this. Um, so let's just let's just get right to it. I guess um, there are two different tracks at, at Woodbine and at Gulfstream today. Uh, let me just make sure I have the race numbers right. Um, okay, it's not going to be race five. Okay, so race number six at Woodbine. The two most likely winners, in my opinion, are 20 to 1 and 10 to 1. Uh, the six patch sewing machine and the seven stowaway. So you could do whatever you want here. You could bet them both to win. You could bet them both in exact is whatever, whatever you want. Right? Or another thing you could do is in race number seven. Um, again, this is bombs away, but the, the 11 flawless ruler. Is, is some value here. It's not as good as, as some, well, I shouldn't say it's not as good as others because it happens to be very, very good value. But um, the nine and the 10 are pretty strong, solid favorites, but the 11 to 20 to one is really, really strong. So if in fact you wanted to do something really crazy and in race number six, use the six and the seven with the 11 flawless ruler, that's going to pay like 500 for like $2. Um, uh, and it's just going to come in more often than the price dictates. That's all I can promise you. Um, I think that was it from Woodbine. Let me just make sure I didn't forget anything else. No. Race number nine. No. Actually, race number nine, if you, if you felt like, if you happen to be watching the races anyway, the eight is a pretty good value here at eight to one. And then in the 10th race, the four is, I think, not four, the, uh, the five, sorry, is uh, kind of a lock here at, at four to one. Um, let me just make sure that was the... Of course, that was that was the lock here. And again, this is way into the weeds here. Um, yeah, the th Thunder. Well, you see this like Pat's Gamble's running 18s, and Thunder is coming off a 12, and Thunder is four to one as opposed to um, as opposed to uh, three to one. I mean, this is I, I can't imagine they actually go off that price, but. Um, but yeah. All right. So now the other two are at Gulfstream. And it's really weird because I was going through the card. I wasn't going to do anything. Um, but then I got to two races where I legitimately think the most likely winner is 20 to 1. So we'll just I'll just tell you what they are and see what happens. But race seven, the eight mighty miracle at 21 morning line, I think is legitimately the most likely winner in the race. And then in the eighth race at Gulfstream. The six, Athena Wisdom, I think is at least really close <laughs> to being the most likely winner at 20 to 1. So you could, again, you can bet both those horses to win, win place, whatever you want. You could play them in doubles. Now a double with those two horses, again, I'll play at least 500 for $2. Um, and then if you want, if you're really greedy. I mean, I, I don't even want to get into the ninth race. So it's really just the seventh and the eighth race, those two horses. Uh, if you go ahead and bet them, I promise you you're getting good value. Um, actually, I shouldn't promise them. They couldn't get pounded down to six to five. But uh, if, in fact, you know you go there, it's like two, three minutes to post, and you know, it's around that price or even a little bit less, I think it's totally fine. Um, okay, that'll do it. Again, uh, I, I'm not going to post about this anywhere else. If it makes it to your subscribed videos, great. If it gets onto the True DFS website and you watch it there, great. But I'm not posting it separately in the Discord or certainly anything for free. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Good luck, everybody.